everyone! I am here today to announce my March TBR. So I actually feel myself going into a reading slump. I'm picking up books and starting them, and I'm just not feeling that magic. Sorry. So I'm picking up books and I'm reading them, but I'm just not feeling that magic. Like this. <laughs> If you guys were here in front of me right now, I would ask how many people have had that feeling of first love or love at first sight upon picking up a book and you just knew you had to finish it. That is what really you know pulls me to continue reading when I have so many different books on my shelf. It's like what is has caught me in that emotion or that feeling and I just need to finish it. And I haven't been feeling that with a lot of the books that I've checked out from the library or even the ones that I already own that I'm trying to read through. So while I'm picking up books and reading them, I'm just not reading them very fast or finishing them. So keeping that in mind, I the TBI I had originally planned for March, I have changed up to be three books that I am excited to read or at least more interested to read versus the books that I had originally on my TBR. Now, one of those is a, going to be a 2021 new release, and that is A Desolation of Peace by Arcady Martin. And this is second in her Texalon series, where we're following Mahit. And if I remember right, I think Mahit goes back to her station, and I'm really interested to find out what happens. And that is supposed to come out in March 2021. So hopefully I'll get about mid-month and I will get to read it. Another book that I am excited to read, which is actually already at my library, but I haven't picked it up yet. And I won't pick it up till Monday, which will be March 1st, which is why this is part of my March TBR, is Heaven's Queen by Rachel Bach. And now this is book number three in her Paradox Trilogy. And I read, I've read the other two books this year. I think actually I read both of them in February. And so this is the conclusion to her story. And for me, it seems like these three books are really a bigger, it, it seems kind of like the Lord of the Rings. It's really one story, but it's been divided into three books, which I don't normally like books that end on cliffhangers. I like to have a complete story. Even, even if you don't, you don't have to wrap up all your threads, but I do like that there is a conclusion to a book. And this has been a outlier for me because her first book ends in a cliffhanger. Her second one ends more smoothly. Like there's a definite end to that section of the story. But you could still say it's a cliffhanger because you know that more is needed. And yeah, I'm still very excited to read this book this month. Like I said, already waiting for me at the library. And then the third book that I am excited to read is again a continuation of a series that I started. And that is The Better Part of Valor by Tanya Huff. The, pet, the better part of Valor is book two following Staff Sergeant Kerr. And I really enjoyed how the first one was. It's a science fiction story. I understand that the series as a whole is a space opera. The first one was more set on a planet. And the first one was about Kerr's uh, is in the military, the space marines. And her unit is pulled to help with the diplomatic mission. That is not the typical diplomatic mission that you would think of. And there was a very strong reason why they chose her unit. But go read it. It was actually really good and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm continuing with the series. So yeah, I know this is really short this time and I tend to like short videos anyway, but those are the three books that I'm very excited to read in March. Thank you and have a good day.